Well, hello everyone and welcome back to Benchwire Week 9 Predictions. It's crazy, it's already Week 9. And as you can tell, I'm here by myself. Matt doesn't want to do the video, so I'll do it for you guys. I'll make it happen. So let's get started. So, Thursday night we didn't have time to make that video. We put out our predictions on Instagram and what happened? We predicted the Titans will win the ball game. That did not happen. The Steelers won the ball game. They won with the final score of 20 to 16. And I didn't think that was going to happen. I still think the Steelers are frauds. They're barely winning these games and they're barely doing it. But Mike Tomlin, Mike Tomlin is a great coach and he's getting the job done. And Deontay Johnson got his first touchdown in like over two years, which is nuts. So good for him. Good for the Steelers. They improved to five and three on the season, where the Titans are three and five. But Will Levis, he looks pretty good. He did have a costly interception at the end of the last game, but it is what it is. Steelers improve the five and three, and the Titans fall to three and five. But now let's talk about the nine thirty game. I think it's at London or Germany, one of those venues. I forget. But we got a good matchup. We got the Dolphins. We got the Chiefs. Both six and two coming into this game. It's a Chiefs home game, really, but it's not really a home game. I don't know. So, yeah, the Chiefs are 6-2. and two. Patrick Mahomes and company trying to get a win. They're coming off a big loss to the Denver Broncos. They haven't lost to them in, like, 16 games in a row, which is crazy. And they finally lost. They broke the streak, the Broncos. Good job for them. But, yeah, Dolphins, Chiefs, who's going to win this one? I have the Chiefs. I think the Chiefs are the better team in this scenario. Um, Andy Reid. Andy Reid is good coming off of a loss. I think Patrick Mahomes will be better in this game. He doesn't have the flu. And it's a Tyree Kill revenge game. So I expect a big, high scoring game with these two teams. Uh, but at the end of the day, I have the Chiefs winning in this one. So Vikings at Falcons. They're both 4-4. Four four, but this is the first game without Kirk Cousins. We're going to miss Kirk Cousins. Prayers up to Kirk Cousins and Captain Kirko. But Justin Jefferson still isn't back for this game. Alexander Madison has not been great all year. TJ Hawkinson, he's been all right. But now that you're playing the Falcons, Taylor Heineke is now starting. So we're having two mid-quarterbacks starting. I forget who's starting for the Vikings. It's still not Josh Dobbs yet. I know they just traded for him. But we have the Falcons in this one. I have the Falcons winning this game. I really do. I think Bijan, he's finally going to put together a game that he really needs. Because he hasn't been that great. He's been sick. He's been in and out of the lineup. He hasn't been getting the touches that he wants. I think he gets more involved today. And Taylor Heineke, he's a veteran. He knows how to win games. And I think he beats up on this Vikings team without Kirk Cousins today. So I got the Falcons over the Vikings. All right, Seahawks at Ravens. Now this is going to be a fun little matchup. These are both teams that are trying to make a push in the playoffs. And right now, I think they're both playing at a very high level. Seahawks are 5-2. and two. Ravens are 6-2, and two, but it's going to come to the defense. And I think the Ravens' defense is better than the Seahawks' defense. And I think the Ravens' defense is going to give pressure on Geno Smith. I really do. And I think that is why the Ravens win this game. And Lamar Jackson has been playing like an MVP-type candidate so far this year. I think he continues that stride. Gus Edwards has been great. Odell has not been involved a lot. Hopefully to get him more involved, I want to see that as a fan. But will that happen? I don't know. Uh, but, yeah, I have the Ravens over the Seahawks. I just don't see it from the Seahawks right now. They are still first in their division over the Niners, which is crazy to think because the Niners lost three straight. I did not think that was going to happen. But, yeah, at the end of the day, I have the Ravens over the Seahawks. Next up, we got the 1-7 Cardinals. They just moved off of Do Josh Dobbs at the trade deadline. But they're playing the Browns. Deshaun Watson is back. He's expected to play today. And I think the Browns defense will give the Cardinals offense a lot of fits. They're starting a guy named Clayton. I never heard of Clayton. I believe he's a rookie. So that's going to be interesting. Um, but I do have the Browns winning this game. Their defense is going to ruin that Cardinals offense. And the Cardinals offense doesn't really have much to work with. So I have the Browns winning with Deshaun Watson coming back. They got Jerome Ford balling out so far this year. Kareem Hunt, he's been getting some goal line touches, been making a name for himself. And you still got Miles Garrett on the defensive side of the ball. 
wrecking havoc each and every week, and I think he continues that stride today. Give me the Browns over the Cardinals. All right. Next up, Rams at Packers. Who do I have? I got the Rams. I really do. I know Stafford might not be playing in this game, but I don't trust Jordan Love. Never did. Never will. He hasn't been that great since his 2-0 start. They're now like 2-5. and They haven't won that many games since. So give me the Rams. I trust Sean McVay more in this situation than I do with Matt LaFleur with that crappy roster that they have. And I think the Rams are the superior team. And I don't know who's starting at quarterback for them, but I don't think it matters. Aaron Donald and company will get the job done. Give me the Rams at the Packers. All right, next up, we got another fun little matchup. The Battle of the Three and Fours, the Bucks at the Texans. I have the Texans winning this matchup. I like C.J. Stroud. He's been playing like the best rookie quarterback so far this year. Uh, they don't have Damian Pierce. He is out of the lineup today, which is unfortunate. But they do have Devin Singletary, who I think will you know, have a great game because he's been having a great season and being that change of pace back that he is. Uh, Dalton Schultz has been a great addition. I expect him to get more involved. Tank Dell has been great. Robert Woods has been getting the job done as well. Like that whole offense is responding to CJ Stroud and the coaching of the OC. And I'm really liking what D'Amico Ryans is doing, changing the culture out there in Houston. And the Bucks, they're all right. They could, they've been winning some games. Baker has been better than I expected. Um, but Mike Evans, I, I don't think he will have a great game. I think he will get locked up by... Derek Stingley, I really do. And Chris Godwin, they just haven't been able to get the ball to him as much as they wanted to. So I feel like the Texans defense, the way D'Amico Ryans is dialing it up, I think he's going to make it hard for Baker to find his open receivers today. So give me the Texans over the Bucks. Next up, we got Washington going up against the Patriots. Commanders are three and five, Patriots are two and six. I think the Patriots win this game. I think Bill Belichick will outcoach Ron Rivera. Ron Rivera is literally on the hot seat. He's going to get fired really soon. I really think he does. Um, just because Josh McDaniels got fired, the commander saw that. The ownership wants to change the coach and make that happen. So I think they will do that soon. And if they lose this game and they lose by a lot and it's not a close game, I really think the commanders might pull the trigger and get Ron Rivera out of the door uh, but Bill Belichick, the Patriots, we knew they're a dumpster fire this year. Their roster isn't that great. We're trying to see if they can make strides with Mac Jones. We really haven't seen that, but they've won some divisional games, and they're 2-6. and six. What will they do in this game? I think they will beat the Commanders. The Commanders have looked decent, but they've kind of fallen off a cliff ever since their schedule got tougher. So I got the Patriots, though. I think Bill Belichick will outcoach Ron Rivera in this matchup. Next up. I have the Bears at the Saints. Um, Bears are two and six. Saints are four and four. Justin Fields is still out, um, but the Saints they do have Derek Carr and they do have that loaded offense. But they haven't been able to get it together. It looks good on paper, but on, on the reality, they haven't been able to get it together. So I don't think the Bears will be able to get it together. And I think another coach is on the hot seat in Matt Eberflus. I think Matt Eberflus. He will be gone by the end of the year. They just made a trade. They got Montez Sweat. That's some good news for them. Signed a four-year deal. I think he got paid too much money, in my opinion. I don't know what Ryan Poles was doing. But other than that, the Bears' future isn't looking that bright. Other than maybe they might get Caleb Williams, and they might move off of Justin Fields. But the Saints, Dennis Allen, he's been all right. They're at 500 right now. They're trying to make a playoff push. I think this is a perfect opportunity to win a game. And, you know, still be ahead in that division and try to make a playoff push. So I got the Saints over the Bears in that matchup. Next up, we got the Colts at the Panthers. Man, oh, man. The Colts, they're 3-5. and five. Panthers are 1-6. and six. They finally got the first win, I believe, over the Texans. So good for Bryce Young and company. Uh, but the Colts at the Panthers. I had the Colts winning this matchup. Shane Steichen has been a good coach for them. I know they lost Anthony Richardson and all, but the Colts team has been playing pretty well under Shane Steichen. I think I think they keep that up today. I really do. Um, Jonathan Taylor and Zach Moss have been a great 
backfield. Like, they both have been carrying this team so far this year, and I think they continue that in this game. So give me the Colts over the Panthers on Sunday, which is today. Um, Giants at Raiders. My New York Giants, they lost last week. They really should have beat the Jets. They didn't. I was, I was a little ticked off about that. Well, the reason being is Graham Gano is now on IR, so he had a messed up knee going into that game, and he made his first field goal, but his last two field goals he missed, and now he needs to get knee surgery, so that's why Graham Gano missed that kick to end the Jets game, and that, and then the Jets, you know, they moved down the field, and they scored in fashion, and, you know, beat the Giants, and Giants are just good at giving up leads in the fourth quarter. They're just known to do that. It's a Giants way. But enough about last week. Let's talk about this week. Giants at Raiders. So the Raiders, they just fired Josh McDaniels. They got a new coach in town, Antonio Pierce. He was the linebacker coach. He used to be a former Giant back on the 2007 Super Bowl team. Now, who wins this game? It's the battle of the mid. The Giants haven't been that great. But they're getting Andrew Thomas back this game, hopefully. He's going to be a game-time decision. Evan Neal's coming back into the lineup. Daniel Jones is back. And I think... With all those players back, I think the Giants have the upper hand. I don't know if Antonio Pierce knows how to be a head coach in this league. We're going to find out today. It should be a fun little matchup. The Raiders are favorited, but I think that is bullshit. And I think the Giants should pull out of today and win this game. I think Brian Dable will outcoach Antonio Pierce. Brian Dable is still a good coach. He's just dealing with a lot of injuries right now. And, you know, Graham Gano being hurt. Dana Jones being out, Tyrod being out, and then you got to, you know, put in Tommy DeVito, who's never played a lick of football. Like, the Giants can't catch a break, and I think today, getting those guys back, they're going to win this game over the Raiders. Next up, I got the Cowboys at the Eagles. This should be a fun game. I have the Cowboys winning. I really do. Um, I think the Cowboys, you know, they're always play well against the Eagles. The Eagles are 7-1. and one. They really haven't played anyone yet. They really haven't. Um, they should have beat the Jets. They really should be undefeated right now. But Jalen Hurts, he turned the ball over, and he had three interceptions that game. That can't happen. I think the Cowboys' defense will make Jalen Hurts turn the ball over. Jalen Hurts is not 100% right now. He's playing with a messed up knee, and I think with that Dallas pass rush, it's going to get to him, and he's going to be making mistakes because of that. I do have the Dallas Cowboys winning. The Cowboys played great last week. I think they continue that success this week. It's a divisional matchup. I know it's at Philly. I still have the Cowboys winning, and they're going to get the job done. Cowboys are going to improve the 6-2. and two. Eagles are going to fall to 7-2, and two. and that division race is going to get even more tighter. So should be a fun game. I think it's the game of the week. I'm excited to watch it. So I have the Cowboys over the Eagles. Bills at Bengals. I have the Bengals winning this game. The Bills, they have gotten some lucky wins the last few games, especially beating the Giants. The Giants should have won that game if they had some players healthy and they knew how to run the ball in the one-yard line with, you know, it being fourth to goal with one second left. But, you know, they didn't do that, and that's unfortunate. But the Bills still won that game. That's good for them. But I think the Bengals, they're getting hot at the right time. They start off slow this season, but Joe Burrow, he's back to being that top three quarterback that we all know that he is. Um, Josh Allen, though, he, he just needs to limit his turnovers and be a good quarterback. He just needs to do that. Will he do that this game? I don't know. The Bengals' defense is a tough defense to play against. I have the Bengals over the Bills. Sunday night game. It's at Cincy. It's going to be electric. It's going to be a fun game. I have Joe Burrow and the Bengals beating the Bills. And now the last matchup of the week, we have the Chargers at the Jets. Now, the Jets, they barely squeaked by and beat the Giants last week. Will they win this game? I don't think so. I think Justin Herbert and company get the job done. Justin Herbert, he's he's a great quarterback, and I think he shows up the Jets' defense. Um, Keenan Allen, I think he will have a great game. Sauce Gardner has not been playing that great this year, and I think Keenan Allen just proves that he is the better of the matchup this week. And Austin Eckler, I think he'll have a decent game. Not running the ball up the middle or just running the ball. It's going to be a lot of screen passes, a lot of check down passes, and he's going to you know, make some people miss tackles and be the guy this Monday night. But yeah, I have the Chargers at the Jets. I really think the Chargers get back on track. 
The Jets have some fluky wins right now, but they're getting the job done. So you got to give them credit where credit's due. But all in all, that is your Week 9 predictions. Hopefully you guys did enjoy this video. If you did, drop a like on this video. Subscribe to Channel for New. We got a link tree down below with all our socials. We got Instagram, Twitter, TikTok. You name it, we have it. Spotify, Apple Podcasts, we got everything. So, with that being said, we'll catch you guys later. Benchwire, out.